Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Um, I hope that you're keeping up with your Bible reading plans and if you're not, if you missed a day or you haven't even started yet, just pick up where you left off and keep going because the point isn't to just tear through the Bible and, and be done. The point is to make a habit of studying the Bible and the only way to do that is to endure through the parts where you missed. Don't get bogged down, just keep going. Today I wanna take a very a short time, less than five minutes to, let's put the time up there, uh, to um, to go over a couple of ways that you can read the Bible and a not so secret third thing that you need to know when you read the Bible. The two main ways that people approach reading the Bible are either reading it for familiarity or reading it for deep study. Now, reading it for familiarity really means that you're reading it basically every day to get an overall sense of the, the story of redemption found in the Bible. The overall understanding of the story and the content of the Bible. Most Bible reading plans do this for you. You read it from one or several parts of the Bible in a given time, and you read through the whole Bible over a given period of time. That's the, that's the, the reading the Bible for familiarity. And that's a good way to read the Bible. Uh, the, the second way is deep study, and that's where you take one book at a time and you sit down and you read slowly, going verse by verse, section by section, uh, looking at the notes if you have a study Bible, grabbing even other resources like commentaries and reading through them to help you understand what's going on here, getting background information and everything else. It's, it's actually a lot of extra work. And, and then even taking, looking at what it says and then going back and referencing something in another part, uh, if it's referencing the Old Testament, finding out that passage and taking you down rabbit trails and all this can come from deep study. And, and they're, they're both good, effective ways to grow closer to God and learn about God, but that brings us to the not-so-secret third thing that you need to know. Reading the Bible is not a way for us to just know stuff, although that comes, but it should be the byproduct of it. The, the purpose of reading the Bible should be to know God and grow closer to Him. And, and it should be an act of worship. When we come to reading the Bible, we should take time to pray and say, God, I hope that, that, that what, what I learn about you today uh, will, will enrich my understanding of you, and I, and I hope to grow closer to you through the practice of reading the Bible. And you can read it for familiarity, or you can read it for deep study, and you can you can uh, do that as an act of worship and an act to grow closer to God, but you can also fall into the pitfall of reading it just to check something off or just to learn stuff. We're not learning stuff, we're learning about who God is and how he has revealed himself to be and how he has acted throughout history and how we can know him and how we can grow closer to him. And that is the purpose of reading the Bible. And so I hope that you are continuing to read the Bible and that you continue to push through every single week. I will continue to provide for you more, more information and different things uh, and more tips throughout the year. If you're interested in more on how to study the Bible um, in a more deeper way, we're going to talk a little bit about that next time at Youth. That's January 14th. We'll talk about reading the Bible in, in a deeper way. We're also going to play Grog, so it's going to be a fun night. I, I'm, I'm hoping to see you there. All right, everybody. God bless.